Yes, I've seen it all, kid. I've stomped around this manor for 18 years. <laughs> There's no much I miss on the crisis loan estate. <laughs> I started here in 75. Tell a lie. It was <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, believe me, you develop an instinct for trouble. Oh, my God. Has a man been stabbed between the shoulder blades? What kind oh. of knife? Um, a bread knife? In that case, ignore it. Take a tip for me, kid. Never get involved in a domestic. I remember a case back in 76. The Crown versus two grannies and a shotgun. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to use compassion fatigue them on, but... Well, I'm going to, going to phone, phone me an ambulance, you bastard. You're looking for trouble, pal. Surprisingly enough, enough I'm no. I'm, I'm actually looking for a blood transfusion, you know. You haven't seen one lying about a sneak bunny chance, have you? Go on. On your way. We don't get involved in domestics. Oh, eh? Has it taken you long to lose your idealism, has it? Pretty soon you'll be a seasoned professional policeman and, a, and as big a turd as that fat article standing right next to you. Normally, you'd pay for that, but I don't want you coagulating no my Doc Martens. Look, I'll radio and try and raise an ambulance for you, but they're no too keen on venturing into this estate. Oh, is that a fact? Oh, well, the next time the wife lunges at me with a breed knife, I'll tell her to hold on until we take a tax you to bloody Kelvin side. Do you want me to help you, or don't you? No. I don't want your bloody help. You can stuff your help. Stuff it right up your arms, you old boy. Because I will stagger alone. I don't need this. I don't bloody well need this. Because I will kill you this. I'll kill you this. There is more than one knife in my back. Is there? Well, why the hell a boy shuttled his waist at these people, don't mean? Oh, excuse me, Joe. Uh, excuse me, wee man. I'm bleeding to death here. Any chance of ten pence to have one of them? How do I know you won't spend it and drink? Because if I do, it'll come spurting out the peanut wound in my back here. Here, look, 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 look here. Here you are. Here's twenty pence. Go on. I mean, get a boop at the unpuck of your face. You've got a mitt on you like an asshole in January. I mean, you know, Honest to God, you aren't in dumb. Stay yourself. Oh. Hey, excuse me, Joe, but the wife and I has had a wee tip, you know? And she's knifed me between the shooter blades. <laughs> Quacky funster that she is. What do you mean, Jason, please? But what do you mean? What do you mean? But there's a lot of people with worse injuries than you, you know. Oh, I have a fucking smithy. Me, I'm a wee hypochondriac. What do you mean, you worse injuries than me? Look at that. Look at that. I just stopped to light a fag in that bloody corridor there. The, the bastard was using that as a coat hook. With all the treatment rooms are full, you'll have to wait. That'll be bloody right. I am not going to be the first patient in here to die of patience. Here you are. Look, I told you. You can't go in there. All the treatment rooms are full. Is that painful, Mrs Nesbitt? Not too bad, Doctor. That nasty knife gave you a troublesome nick, but we'll have you as right as rain in no time. Oh, thanks very much, Doctor. Well, I'm hell of a relief to hear that. <laughs> What's the matter, Larry, darling? Did you jar your pinky when the cold steel juddered against my backbone? I'm not speaking to you. Doctor, would you mind telling him that I'm not speaking to him? The way you treat your wife, Nesbitt, I'm surprised she didn't do it years ago. Lie face down on the couch. Then <sighs> <sighs> you see how many things sides. <laughs> what do you want me face in for? 
You're surely not going to pull that nasty bread knife out that troublesome nick in my right lung, eh? Of course. Why not? Why not? Why not? I bloody tell you why not. Because see her, that bitch put it there, and she can bloody well pull it out of you. I'm no touching it, because you were bloody well asking for it, don't you kid yourself? Don't be ridiculous, you could die, man. Get your paws off this chip here. This is a point of principle. I'd rather die than get into this bitch here. Well, that just suits me fine. Cos see me, I'll be straight up that Libra Singles Club while you're still lying in a morgue with a cork up your arse, tell you. <laughs> well, she it's like that, it's like that. Well, I'll tell you this, lady. I am just gonna live, I'm just gonna live to spite you, yeah. What you got, man? Come on, get out your tents and look my meat and make sure there's plenty of blood. Because you are going to have one hell of a washing day this Monday. I will tell you that later. Go on. Yes! Stop. Jimmy, what are you doing here? Ella stabbed me. She discovered I was up at Singles Club. How'd she manage to find out? She was there too. <laughs> and that right, Ella Hen. Shut it, you! <laughs> Let's go look at that jacket. Oh! What do you think, Mary Hen? Oh, you've made a lovely job of that, Ella. So you have. Aye. Always like to stab him down the seam. It makes him ending easier. <laughs> Domestics. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it then, eh? Do about what? Us. We're disturbed. Look, I thought on my dinner and everything. I don't need understanding. <laughs> and you're only doing that because the social workers here. Did you hear her? That was violence of the tongue. Quick. Write the date and time down. There might be a court case. Oh, my God. Don't you even say that. Who the hell picked them on to us anyway? Um, I, I don't know. It, it could be anybody. Police, mm. the hospital. Or anyway, it's your own fault. Eh? Aye. Look at these eyes. He's got crazed Laura written all over them. Aye. Five years from now, I'll have snapped and be picking off pensioners for the roof of Safeways with a hunting rifle. <gasps> Brilliant! Can I come with you? Oh, how the hell can it be a crazed loner if you go with him? Aye, find your own hobbies. Oh, hey, pal, I'll get another atrocity. I'm to your abuse. He's just whapped me in the napper with the leg of a parker and no. all. Nah, Jesus, just you shut your trap. Right, oh, us. Right, just see you, put. Right, you're gonna get put. Right, here you go. That's it, all right, hey, pal. Mate, I've not seen that. Oh, no, no, oh. What's this social worker going to think? <laughs> Wainsy can be a terrible handful sometimes, can't he? <laughs> Another chocolate hard not Mr. Meekham. Well, thank you. I'm afraid, Mrs. Nesbitt, that the committee has come to a decision. 1.25. Here, Nesbitt. What's this I heard about your marriage being on the rocks? So sure, what? Huh? It's a marriage, isn't it? It's bound to be in the rock. You got a problem with that? No, no. True love, given style. <laughs> you learn. Hey, I like the big man, eh? You know, there are times in my life when I felt like the world's worst wee numpty jobby. And then I take a swatch at Big Rab and suddenly I'm walking in here. You know what I mean? Aye, you can't take it away from him. Rab's a loser's loser. Who the hell are you two looking at, eh? Oh, no, don't tell me. I know what he's just thinking. How can one man have so much charisma? <laughs> Excuse me while well, I'm open the ice bucket. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rab. It's just that Ella and me need some rocks for our spritzers. No. Who the hell are you dolls up like that, man? 
There's an asylo in it, Mark here. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because the last time I looked like that, I was I was in a baby walker with fur balls in my slippers. Pack that in. See, that is typical govan humour, that. The laughter of cruelty. Fortunately, I have outgrown the need for that since Ella and me undertook our course in empathetic marital therapy. Therapy? Therapy? Oh, I see. Yeah. You mean you have just had your head looked? That is correct, Rav. See, when that big specialist told me I was married to a social inadequate with latent deviant tendencies, I felt my heart swell with pride. <laughs> I had no idea it was that interesting. Well, uh, you should try it, Rob. Honest to God, therapy has been the saviour of our relationship. The real relationship? Ah, oh, well, for God's sake. We're forgiven. You don't have a relationship. You don't have a relationship. We get, we get married. Misery. Misery is life's blood to us. It is part of the contract. Do you, morning face bastard, take this poor face bitch to be your wedded wife? You do. Well, fuck her off and get on, mate. Come back in 50 years when I bury you. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no offence, our uh, playmates. Just trying to illustrate a point there. Go on, the way you just go. Fuck it off, go on. Because I will tell you this. I was born, I was born a cynical bastard, and I will die a cynical bastard. <laughs> don't, don't you start sullying my lugs with that sentimental, treacly crap. Yeah. You and me myself, clear. It's me one of your wings, hate you. Come on. Here's my wings. My wings love me. My wings will suck the very ground I walk on. Kiss them, even as we speak. They're sitting there at a fire. They're sitting there with their, with their wee pink pyjamas, just waiting on their daddy coming home. Taking them away? What do you mean, not taking them away? I mean, the social workers put them in a home. That's what I bloody well mean. They need to spell it out for you. And look, look I've, I've brought them back chip snorkeling. <laughs> oh, that'll clinch the deal, won't it? <laughs> oh, pal, forget the hammers, the poverty, the emotional bloody deprivation. My man's brung back chips. We can all live a happily ever after. All right, all right. You, you, can, you can skip the subtle piss thing. <laughs> I mean, this, this is a family crisis here. You mean to tell me a fella just walked in here and then walked straight back out with your veins under his arm? I mean, what, what, kind of, what kind of society are we running here? I don't know what you're moaning about. You used to do the same with folks' videos. That's <laughs> no point. I mean, that's not a point. That's not, that was in the past, anyway. That was before I saw the light, you know. And before the light saw me coming out of Rumbo's window with an eye up my stomach. Dear God, I mean, I can't take this in. Eh? I mean, I go, I go for a, a quiet pint, a nuclear parent with two normal maladjusted veins. I come back six years later, a childless geek with social leprosy. I mean, I, I, I'm not upset. Because I'm not going to be able to eat my spam fry. Oh, you bloody well hope no. If you'd been here, it might not have taken the wings away. The social worker's been here three times. Why the hell did you not take him seriously? Because, see me, I'm a cynic coming now. I was just... I was just waiting for him to get to the bottom line. I mean, all this talk about... about warmth and... And family outings, because I thought he was starting off a catalogue for Freemans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, man. Oh, come on, don't, don't greet me, don't greet me. What do you expect? I've turned my boys away. I'm at my wits end with worry. Wait, I'm at I'm a no worry. You just wait and see. I mean, now, I'll go junior. First thing in the morning after then, and I will, I will reason with them. I mean, they're very sense. Good 
him like my wings, just waving his arms. I'm afraid aggressiveness doesn't cut any ice with us, Mr. Nesbitt. No, but this wee beauty might cut a few forehead. That's the only way I'm going to knock some sense at you people. You see, that's the sort of attitude problem that's got you into this situation in the first place. Attitude problem. Attitude problem. I've no go on attitude problem. It's him there. Him there. He's the one with the attitude problem. Mr. Meekle is one of our most respected field officers. Who's that? Oh, that doesn't say hell as much about you, eh? <laughs> oh, look, there a dodd of scum with a bandage and a bottle of butt fast. He's bound to be abusing his wings. Let's run them in. Now, Mr. Nesbitt, no one is accusing you of any such thing. I mean, I'll no stop you peering up the kivers with a Davy lamp just in case. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gets me over you. That is the implicit assumption, is not it? Attitude, attitude. Oh, look, Damien. Look, there are a wee tight net community of undereducated social class fives. Have a wee swatch in the manual. See what it says about inbreeding. I mean, what the hell do you take us for? Hey, the British monarchy. All right, Mr. Nesbitt, you've made your point. But you still can't deny you're of a violent disposition and that you and your wife are not well balanced parents. Well balanced? Well balanced? Of course we're well balanced. I'm emotionally deranged, and so is she. <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt, I have a file here full of times, dates, and numerous occasions on which, according to the testimony of you two sons, you have struck them and emotionally abused them. Now, until you and your wife change your attitude, your chances of getting your children back are remote in the extreme. Oh, she. Oh, she. It is like that. It is like that. <laughs> and how the hell are we supposed to change one attitude at your age? Have you ever tried therapy? What do you think this'll work, Rab? Well, that's Tom Donald. She's lured you need for that kind of bloody miracle. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm pure mortified at being here, so I'm... I wish I had something less embarrassing, like syphilis or something. <laughs> Talking of which. What are you doing? I'm waiting for the stirrups. No, no. Mrs. Nesbitt, this is an examination of your psychology. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. <laughs> Force the habit. I should tell her she needs to know about her psychology. Eh? Turning to you, Mr. Nesbitt. How about about me? I'd like to talk to you about your childhood. Were you close to your father? Well, uh, no, if I could tell, but <laughs> otherwise I'd get a boot about the melt, you know. Really? And what is your earliest memory of him? Uh, well, when I was 15, I always remember the, the friction burns he left in the carpet when I handed over my first wage packet. Oh. Well, that just goes to show you, didn't it, Doctor? You can live with somebody all your life, but you never really know them. Why? Ah, you did not know my father was an alky. Oh, I, I never knew you had a job. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, you mm. beauty. This is a game, eh? But abused. Aye. Hey, I've not had this much attention since I removed my tape, Warren. <laughs> Shh! Here, Gaffer. Come on. Aye, hey, Martin. Sorry to have kept you. I was just welcoming our new warden, Mr. Jethro. Well, what happened to the old one? I sacked him. He was very weak on corrective punishment. He lacked imagination. So, you've been saying your mother neglected you, that you were starved of love, am I right? And not only love. She had me when she was past 30. Her tits had dropped that much, I've got to hump my back, try to get a breastfeed after. <laughs> No, no. We experience no such difficulties here. We value discipline beyond love. Oh, so you're going to punish us by pumping us in the kitchens to scrub the dishes, eh? Dishes? What dishes? No, no, no. Your problem, children. Bad, bad boys. Mr. Jethro has some very novel ideas about intravenous feeding. No, exactly done Roman, is it? <laughs> God, 
street when he sits still, would you, for God's sake? I can't sit still. I keep down there talking about us. Listen, I'm not talking about us, right? It's just your, it's just your imagination. Just don't get paranoid, right? <laughs> Bastards! What did you say to us? Rab, Rab, come on, don't get paranoid, remember. All right, all right, all right. Relax, relax. Evening, Rob. Evening. Shall we? How's your wings, Rob? What do you mean by that? No. What do you mean by that? No, I'm not a big maniac. You. Well, steady the buffs and us, but we, we know you're going through a bad time, but there's no need to be so touchy. Come on, Rob. All right, all right, all right. I'm touchy, right? I'm touchy. I mean, you think we don't know that there's a whispering campaign going on out here? I eh? think we don't know the unspeakable things they're saying about us. I'll tell you this, it is at times like these that you find out who your real friends are. Hey, yeah. One minute. <laughs> Stop this! Well, don't blame me. It was your idea to phone the welfare and kid on when we've been abused. You said if we get put at home, there'd be vandalism, dangerous drugs, and violence. All right, all right. So I'm an idealist. I thought it'd be a good place to meet birds. Ah, so there you are. Mr. Jethro tells me you've been making difficulties, that you've been bad, bad boys. Well, we have ways of dealing with troublemakers. Oh, aye. Uh, so you'd be pumping us in solitary then, eh? Exactly. In you go. This is solitary. Yes, well, it is until we solve our overcrowding problem. Gee, look, maybe it's an Ann Summers party. <laughs> oh, Mr Nesbitt. Don't you are Mr Nesbitt, me. Or me. Push me, I'll do the scheme again. <laughs> See you, Spill. You sit there with your fat asses jammed against the radiator, poking your bureaucratic wallopers into other folks' business. Wayne's is it? Care is it? Where the hell were you when she was nursing the Wayne through the colic? Aye. Come me think it. Where were you when I was nursing her through the colic? For God's sake, I'm trying to build up a heat of steam here. <laughs> because I will tell you this. She the Wayne's. The Wayne's is the fruit. They are the fruit of my loins. Fair enough, my loins might be minging and, and, and the fruit might be a wee bit bruised at the extremities. But I brought the wains into the world. <clears throat> Correction. We brought the wains into the world. We gave them life, we gave them love, we gave them 60 sodden pence each for the tooth fairy. But she stole through under their pillars. <laughs> oh, that's no the point, is it? There's a principle at stake here. These wains, these wains is our wains. And we are not leaving this office until we get them back. Oh, well, no problem. What do you mean, what do you mean? You can have your children back any time. Elspeth, for God's sake, bring them in. Hey, Hi, Hi, Ma. Oh, so long. Where is this court here? What's going on? What's going on? Mr. Meekle sends his apologies. He'd applied for a care order on the basis of what your sons had told him. However, they've since come to us to admit that their evidence has been somewhat exaggerated. Consequently, we have little option but to return your children to you. With our regrets. With our regrets? Oh, well, I'll, I'll make it all right then, eh? <laughs> Where the hell is Meekle? He's passed through hell. Can he not give us his regrets in person? He can't, I'm afraid. How do I know? Because he's at home attending a birthday party for his son. Oh, I see. Oh, well, far be it from me to keep a man away from his wings. But we warn you, Mr Nesbitt, any further violence towards these children and we will be forced to take action again. Oh, no, 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 but no need for that, no need for that at all. Because I'm perfectly delighted to see my boys again. <laughs> oh, look. There's a flying care of that. Where? Where? There. <laughs> well, thanks very much. <laughs> I don't know what we'd have done without your help. <laughs> Increase my lifespan, probably. <laughs> Come on, use. Cheerio. 
Soon as you write down to that's one of the lessons you learn in life. Everything's got its sequel, no? If you just have the patience to wait long enough, you always get your chance for revenge. All right, pal. Are you just going to stand there? That pig has just gate-crashed your son's birthday party. Why don't you hit him back? You, you, you know my philosophy, Amanda. I, I always reason before I hit. I'll tell you another reason why he doesn't hit. Just clock that puddle between his feet there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were always a wet one. Oh. <laughs> How dare you! I'll do whatever I like in my own house, madam. Oh, will you, sir? Oh, yes, I most certainly will. Will you? But then don't you so am I. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't his fault, but I mean, you said life was fair, no? <laughs> Why don't you just do us all a favour and get out of here? <laughs> you can shut your yapping off. Can! <laughs> yeah, we told the yap. Yes, take it with me, kid. I've been there, done it, seen it all. Hey, look. Uh, looks like another domestic, Sarge. <laughs> What do you think? Should we uh, turn a blind eye? No, son, these are the professional classes. That would make it a crime of passion. Better book them. Come on. Oh, my, my, my officer. Did you look at that? This area has fair gone dune, hasn't it? It's not a place to be bringing up your children. Fuck her off! His words, no men. 